Hello, Maker Gaming, Satisfactory. So I've been thinking about creating any angle in this game since my hexagon videos. Yeah, and me and Bed plays games finally figured it out. So details for why the method works at the end of the video, but let's just start with an example using the Pentagon. A Pentagon is 108 degrees to a side and a foundation is 90. So we need a perfect 18 degree angle to add to the foundation. Okay, so this edge is gonna be the origin of our angle. So we just need to draw A and O out using the values in the box. Okay, so here's the trick for drawing out half meter beams. First, we're gonna make sure it's on default and draw out a couple meters just to get a base one. Then we're gonna put another one at the end of the first beam and we're gonna press H. With H held, you can now press control arrow and that'll go over 0.5 meters, place the start of the beam, and then go out six more. Okay, so that gets us exactly 6.5. So now we just wanna connect H from the origin to the end of O, and that's your angle. Okay, everything till now has been to get this H beam. So now start at the origin and go out four meters using the default build mode and then go out four meters from that point. Then just place your foundation at the end of the beam. And then depending on the side of the beam you place your foundation, you either have the angle between the foundations or you use it to combine for the polygon. Now for the pentagon, you just repeat at each side with a new origin. And then for a larger shape, you just zoop out the same number of foundations on each side. Make sure whatever size foundation you use, uh, that your beam starts at the vertical midpoint. And that's it for the Pentagon. So uh, let's see the table and the math. And if we're lucky, the Excel sheet. All right, so where do we go from here? Um, first, for these amazing color options in game, check out this video by Bed Plays Games uh, that explores all the possibilities. And yeah, then subscribe to me in bed because we're gonna start looking at more mathematical solutions to in-game problems um, on top of our regular content. So yeah, stay tuned, thanks for watching. This is the table you wanna take a screenshot of. This is all the basic angles that I think you really need. The one degree is not really practical at 57 meters long. And so I think the better idea there is to just use the barrier method coming up and then go backwards 14 degrees. So that's why that one's on there. And then the remainder of what's left between that 15 and going back 14 becomes one degree. And that'll be easier to get to that 57 and one. So how do we get these numbers? This is just simple trigonometry, SOHCAHTOA. It's just a relationship between the lengths of the sides and the angle. And so we know that we know the angle that we want. So we can put that in and I brought in an Excel spreadsheet and basically iterated every half meter and then got the answer for the other side and I just compared them until I found the ones that were closest to the whole numbers that we needed and the tables of results. But if anything's missing, I mean, take the equation, put in your own numbers and you can get another angle. So why did I only list those angles? And that's just because of existing methods. So you have the barrier method. This is one of the most handy tips there is and it's just uh, the barrier moves in 15 degree increments and you just put it at the corner of a foundation and any 15 degrees, we're going to do 30 for a hexagon and then you place a second barrier at the end of that one and then you just snap your foundation to the center of the second barrier and you just repeat that at each corner until you have a hexagon. Barrier method is super handy. And then just to review um, our main building blocks, your foundation, it spins in five degree increments if you hold control and scroll wheel. A pillar vertically rotates in 10 degree increments. And then a beam rotates in 15 degree increments. This is the method I was describing while I was showing the table about how to get one degree by subtracting 14 from the barrier method. So I'll just have that playing. I'll just show that all the way through. While that's going, I know there's a lot of engineers that play Satisfactory. If 
if there's any engineers that like Excel more than me, feel free to jazz up that Excel sheet um, and send it to me, and I'll put a I'll put a link to it in the description. I'll give you credit in the description. Um, preferably, someone would just put in the angle out top, and it would actually there'd be a function that spit out the best numbers that are uh, the two numbers closest to whole or half integers. Yay, homework for like three of you. Thanks for watching. Uh, please like, comment. Let's get this thing out so people can uh, people can use it. Thanks. You know, I think that might be it. Thanks for watching. Let me know if anything's confusing or if uh, I missed anything. Good luck.